Hey YouTube, welcome back. We had an excellent question pop up in chat, and it's not the kind of question that I would have anticipated. So let's talk about blessings. These are going, this is going to be like a meta rundown of the strongest blessings that you can get, the decisions that I make as someone with about 4,000 hours in the game who primarily plays hardcore, and what you might consider for your builds using your blessings. Got it. So whenever I talk about blessings, I'm going to have two things. I'm going to show you this view right here, which is a... Uh, Shows you like the left side and the right side, and then the three level 90 monoliths. I'll also show you a, a third party website. I'll show you Tunk Lab as well, and that'll have an information about all the blessings that exist, so you can view them in one nice little table. So, first things first, all the blessings on the left side here, I recommend skipping these in normal monoliths and only coming back to them, if at all, when you're doing um, empowered monoliths. Do not do the normal versions of these, it is a waste of time. So these are all drop rate blessings, increased drop rate of stuff, increased drop rates of rings, increased drop rates of shards, and that's not player power, so we skip them. Uh, all the blessings on the right side here, which is 66, 75, and 85. By the way, if you're a new player, make sure you kill Dr. Octopus. Do not help Dr. Octopus. Um, these are all player power. So these are things like Leech, Crit Multi, Lightning Res, Crit Avoidance, Damage. For the three level 90 monoliths, uh, the, the flanks, the left and the right, give player power, and then the last one up here is another drop rate blessing. So, what are the meta choices that you would make for each of these? What I would do, in a nutshell, is armor, armor. The more I play Last Epoch, the more I want as much armor on my characters as possible, because armor mitigates not only physical damage, but also all hit damage. It's 100% effectiveness against physical damage, and it only is 70% as effective against non-physical damage, but it is still quite strong overall. I like my characters to have a lot of armor. I go out of the way to get as much as possible. My recommendation is uh, flat armor when Spirits of Fire. If you're playing Warpath, some Spin to Win, go armor while channeling, and then percent armor here. For Reign of Dragons, there's two blessings that really stand out above anything else, and that is Crit Avoidance and plus to all resistances. In Ending the Storm, to me, there's only two, two, one. There's only one that stands out to me. And I'll rant about it later. The only blessing to me that's relevant in Ending the Storm is if I'm playing a lightning damage build, I take lightning shred in Ending the Storm. If you're not a lightning damage build, then you're probably just getting lightning resistance because all the other blessings are very lackluster. If you're using the health regen set, health regen is here as well for ending the storm. But basically, this is like lightning shred or nothing in my brain. For Black Sun, the kinds of things that you'd want would be, if you're a spell damage build, consider leech because it's hard to have too much leech. Crit multi is great if you want more damage in your build. Um, if, you're, if you don't need any kind of leech, if you don't need any kind of crit multi, you might think maybe void shred. But Void Shred is something that only Void Knights care about. And these days, all of your Void Shred comes from Anomaly. So you don't need Void Shred from Black Sun anymore as of 0 0.9. Anomaly applies two stacks of Void Shred every second inside of the bubble. So as long as you are attacking a monster for a couple seconds, you're going to have capped Void Shred anyways. It's no big deal. So I'd go some kind of Leech, maybe Crit Multi. And if all else fails, Health? I guess health is the other one there. So that's the kind of things you're looking for here. Armor, armor, health, crit multi, leech, and then crit avoidance and um, all res here. So let's flip over to our third party website real quick, just to make sure that you have all the information you need. If you've never seen this website and you're in Twitch chat right now, make sure to type in exclamation point tools. This is lastepoch.tunklab.com. So on this, in the end game section, we click on monolith timelines. The same information is on lastepochtools.com, but I like how it's laid out here, so I'm going to recommend you use this table view that Tunk put together. So all the monoliths are listed on the left side. If we click into any of them, like the Black Sun, for example, you'll see all the non-empowered and empowered blessings laid out here. So for example, looking at the empowered blessings, this is the, um, the Void Shred Crit Multi place. You can get Leech Raid, Crit Multi, Shred, Crit Chance, if you're really hurting for Crit Chance. Um, spell leech is a pretty important one to know about. Sometimes your spell build doesn't get enough leech and you really want some kind of source of it. So this is a nice one to know about. Ignite, 
I've used it before, but like it's it's not particularly valuable unless you're, you know, an ignite build. Um, but for the most part, my characters are basically getting um crit multi or leech these days. But yeah, void res stuff, you should know about that as well. Let's click back. We're gonna click on the other ones uh that give you player power. Ending the storm is a lag in timeline. I made a joke about the lag in timeline only having one and a half blessings on it. The most important blessing to know about here is shred lightning resistance on hit. By and large, the other one that you're gonna take is the lightning resistance. And the other ones, to me, are really lackluster. If you're playing a mana build, if you're playing fra like Fractured Crown, Mind of Matter, the mana is valuable to you. If you're playing Shard of the Shattered Lance and you're scaling health regen, this is valuable to you. But these other ones, like Ward for a second, Shotgun Hits, Freeze Rate Multi, Stun Chance, Shock Duration, Ward when you use a potion, these are really lackluster. So there's like there's a couple honorable mentions around the top, especially if you like need to get like 300 or 400 mana in order to hit some breakpoint as a sorcerer. But for the most part, it's Lightning Shred or, you know, not much else. Let's keep going. For Reign of Dragons, I said that there were two that existed to me, and that's Crit Avoidance or All Resistance up here. The other ones, there's some relevant stuff that you might want to know about. There's like Minion All Res that technically I've seen someone use before. Um, is Poison, like the, the percent increased damage, I'm not a big fan of them. The Bleed or Poison on hit, if you're playing one of those, maybe you can try to fit that into your build for a real min-max. But even then, just like the value of all resistance and of crit avoidance is really high. Technically, I think all resistance is the most stat efficient, but sometimes it's just hard to get crit avoidance on your gear and you want to get a nice 70% plus one ring, for example, to crit avoid cap yourself. That's the only things that I'm really looking for here. The last two that we'll talk about are the armor ones. And when it comes to armor, they do conflict with some other stuff. So these blessings are good. If you're using a Bastion of Honor, for example, this is Age of Winter with Hayrot. Age of Winter has block effect. And if I were using a Bastion of Honor, I would take block effect instead of percent armor. Because block effect is very, very strong once you have a Bastion of Honor. The other things, if you're playing a Fizz build or a Cold build, I would consider using one of those blessings here. Remember, Shred got nerfed. It only has 10 stacks instead of uh, 20 stacks like it did in the past. So skipping out on these is not as painful as it used to be. I would probably still take one of these defensive modifiers because my builds tend to have enough damage and they want more defense. Because like if I'm playing in hardcore, if I'm pushing an arena, those are the kinds of try-hard things that I worry about. But if you're not as much a try-hard, then yeah, absolutely. I would take Shred for your respective element. Honorable mention here for the Endurance Threshold, if you're playing a... Um, if you're playing a Mind of Matter character, like Fractured Crown, Damage Take from Mana Before Health as a Sorcerer or maybe a Spellblade, um... Endurance Threshold is very important, and you would take it in this case. If you're a Lich, like we're using Death Seal, you want at least one, maybe at least one, big Endurance Threshold roll someone your character. Like maybe a Tier 6 or a Tier 7 on a piece of gear, or maybe you might take this if you're playing a Lich. In no other scenario would I take this. The last one that we'll talk about here is Spirits of Fire. For me, I would do Flat Armor, because Flat Armor... The, the numerical values that you can get for flat armor on your gear are quite small. So getting a like a big 300 flat armor is very good value and it helps to make you feel a lot tankier. Like endurance, you can get endurance on gear, you can get frailty on gear. Dodge rating, you can get this on your gear if you're really doing a dodge rating thing, but not many builds, like not many builds actually use dodge rating here. Um, if you're a fire build, if you're a necrotic build, you would consider taking the shred of your respective element here. Um, but for me, the armor is really, really valuable. And then, of course, if you're playing Warpath, you get twice as much, even more armor. You get 750 armor while channeling because Warpath gets to channel all the time for some reason. So this is a very strong option for that. Hopefully that helps to illustrate what the, like, the strongest options are for each of these blessings. Again, like I said at the very beginning, armor, armor across the top. Either crit avoidance or all resistance. Lightning Shred, if I'm a Lightning Shred build, some kind of Leech or some kind of Crit Multi for Black Sun. That tends to be my characters with the caveats that we already described earlier. Hope that makes sense. If you got questions, comment section. I'll see you next time.